hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy do support my channel by clicking that subscribe button that will help me a lot now we are going to solve this problem it says that the forces f1 and f2 act on the end of the beam replace these forces by an equivalent force and couple moment acting at point o so we have to replace these two forces by their equivalent force couple system at this point o so for that we have to find the resultant force so the resultant cartesian vector will be equal to f1 vector plus f2 vector since we are given these uh, cartesian vector representation of f1 and f2 we can add them we can add up their components so we will get the resultant vector so the resultant vector will be equal to so we can add uh, the i component with i j with j and k with k so let me write that this is minus 4 i plus 2 j minus 3 k and plus f2 this is f2 which is uh, 3 i minus 4 j minus 2 k so when we add this we will get the resultant cartesian vector so minus 4 plus 3 is minus i then we have uh, plus 2 minus 4 so this is minus 2j and we have minus 5k so minus 5k so this is the resultant cartesian vector and its magnitude will be kilo newton since uh, these two forces are given in kilo newtons so the resultant will be in kilo newtons so the resultant is minus i minus 2 uh, minus i minus 2j minus 5k and if you want to find the resultant magnitude so that resultant magnitude will be equal to the squares of each component so this is minus 1 minus 2 and minus 5 so we will write that minus 1 square plus minus 2 square plus minus 5 square so minus 1 or plus 1 the minus doesn't matter since we take the square so we can write it as one square two square and five square so this is one square plus two square plus five square this gives us the resultant magnitude so the resultant magnitude is equal to 5.48 kilonewton so this is the resultant and now we have to find the uh, resultant moment of these two forces about that point oh, so that we will replace these two forces by its equivalent resultant in couple moment so for that to find the moment of these two forces uh, we have to define the um, moment arms for f1 and f2 so let's say that from o to this particular point this is let's say r1 position vector this will be the moment arm of for f1 and then for f2 let's see this will be our another vector acting from o to this particular point so this will be r2 let me write that this is r2 So then we have to write that the resultant moment about point O will be equal to the moment produced by F1. So we will write that R1 cross F1 plus R2 cross F2. We have to add up the moment produced by F1 and F2 about that point O. So now we have to find R1 vector and r2 vector so r1 vector is we can find r1 vector r1 is a position vector so we can find r1 vector by when we travel from o in the x y and z direction so that will be the components of our r1 so to reach that to reach this particular point which is the end point of r1 we need to travel this distance which is the length of this beam 4 meters in the positive x then we have to travel this distance which is 250 mm in the positive z so 4 meters i will write 4 meters in the positive x means in the positive i then 
250 mm in the positive z so 250 mm is 250 divided by 1000 is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 meters we need to convert this 250 mm into meters so 250 divided by 1000 will be 0 0.25 meters so 0 0.25 meters in the positive z so that is in the positive k so from this point O, first we travel this distance, then we travel this, and then we need to travel this small distance of 150 mm, and this will be in the negative y direction. This is the positive y, so we need to travel this distance in the negative y. So 150 mm in the negative y, that is in the negative j. So 150 divided by 1000 will be 0 0.15 in the negative j. So 0 0.15 in the negative j. So this is R1. Similarly, we can find our two position vector again using the similar method. So from O, we need to travel 4 meters in the positive X, that is in the positive I, then 0.25 meters in the positive Z, and then 150 mm or 0.15 mm in the positive Y. So the only difference is in this component. So we will write that this is plus 4i plus 0.15j plus 0.25k and f1 and f2 are given as a cartesian vector this is f1 this is f2 so now we can find this r1 cross f by using that determinant method so we will write i j and k the components of r1 are 4 minus 0 0.15 and 0 0.25 and f1 components are minus 4 plus 2 minus 3 plus then this is i j and k and then the components of r2 which is plus 4 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 and the components of r2 this is 3i minus 4j minus 2k so now we have to find this determinant by using this row so we need to for i we need to hide this and this so this is minus 3 into this so this is plus so i will write plus 3 into 0 0.15 so we need to hide this and this so this minus this so minus 0 0.25 into 2 this will be into i then for j we need to hide this and this and with j we need to write minus sign so 4 into this minus this so i will write minus 4 into minus 3 minus 0 0.25 into minus 4 into j with j we always need to write minus sign this minus sign so we will hide this and this so 4 into minus 3 minus 0 0.25 into minus 4 so this is for j and then for k we need to hide this and this this is 4 into 2 minus this so we will write plus 4 into 2 and minus into minus 0 0.5 so that is plus 0 0.15 into minus 4 this is into similarly for this determinant again we need to hide this row and this column so this is 0 0.15 into minus 2 into this minus this so 0 0.15 into minus 2 and then minus 0 0.25 into minus 4 this is i then with j we need to write minus so for j we need to hide this and this so 4 into minus 2 minus this 4 into minus 2 minus 0 0.25 into 3 into j and then for k hide this and this so 4 into this so 4 4 into minus 4 minus 0 0.15 into 3 this is into k so now let's find this and find this and then we can aid both of these so this is 3 into 0 0.15 minus 0 0.25 into 2 
and then plus this term plus this term so plus uh, 0 0.15 into minus 2 minus 0 0.25 into minus 4 so this gives me 0 0.65 this is 0 0.65 i then we have to add up uh, this term these two terms so this is this is with minus and this is with minus as well right so this is 4 minus 4 into minus 3 minus 0 0.25 into minus 4 this is minus 4 and then minus 4 into into minus 2 minus 0 0.25 into 3 so this is 19.75 this is plus 19.75 and similarly for k we need to do the same which is 4 into 2 is 4 into 2 plus 0 0.15 into minus 4 and then plus 4 into minus 4 minus 0 0.15 into 3 so this gives us minus this is with j and minus 9.05 k so this is the resultant moment of these two forces about that point o and this is the cartesian vector representation